Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another chill sleepy movie with lots of Azir educational informative gameplay. We're gonna teach you how to climb out of low elo. And it seems reverse is in Urgot top this game. Because uh, I, I have top as my secondary on Azir. It's his second best roll after mid. Oh, might be trying to cue me here. Oh, he started E. Interesting. Yeah, reverse is an Urgot. And I'm probably going to be running lethal tempo every game because it's just like it does so much damage. Especially once you have like Nasher Tooth. It scales the hardest. It's way easier to win games with this rune for me personally, and maybe you guys as well. Depends on the playstyle you like. I like to 1v9, so I go lethal tempo whenever I want to win. Uh oh. Farming's hard on their tower early. Yeah, for the rest of the runes, we have Prince Mine Alacrity Cutdown, because um they have one, two, three champions that are buying HP this game, Urgot, Warwick Leona. Then Transcendence and Mana Flow are always nice consistent runes secondary. With a lethal tempo setup. Top lane is um pretty long lane. Uh, feels like you need to be able to like sustain more, so I like mana flow here. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Not enough attack speed loss with that one. Yeah, Zero is all about the farming. And as you can see here, we're just outside of our tower range, freezing the wave. So that Urgot has to like overextend. And uh, he has to like now walk into my soldiers to get last hits on minions. Just get like free damage on him. Yeah, we just want to like dodge his Q and E as best as we can in this matchup. But yeah, his E is the most important one. The E is more important because then you'll get flipped. And then he can land his Q for free. Yeah, the best way, in my opinion, to climb out of low elo is to master one fundamental, which is farming. In low elo, nobody knows how to farm, or they like they just like kind of like perma fight you maybe, or they're inexperienced with farming. So if you get good at this one concept, you'll just have way more gold than your enemies, and just always outscale them. You'll always have more items. Yeah, we're already up 13 CS on the Urgot from our just like trying to stay close to our turret. So he's like playing pretty scared. He's expecting to get ganked. Now yeah, Butchinglers are up here apparently. But as a zero, I don't want to fight early. I just want to chill and farm. At least until I get like a component to R2. Then I'll start to be more aggressive with auto attacks. Because Azure Q is very, very mana hungry. 70 mana scales up to 110. So it's not really worth using Q like almost at all. In early laning phase, unless you have like your, uh, oh, for example, lethal tempo stacked up or halo blades ready to do some damage. Yeah, this guy seems to have roams, and I'm guessing he took a reset. So it's 10 to 35 CS. He's back now. He held on to his TP, and he's easier in time for this wave. Yeah, we're still got a nice lead here. To 1v9, I build Nasher's Tooth first every game. It feels very nice for farming and like trading and you know, even pushing for minions and towers. That is how you uh, mainly get your gold as is your in the early game. Oh, yo, be darker. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this Urgot is already pretty behind. And with like just little tiny leads like this. You can get an uh, advantage on your opponent and be stronger than them. So now I'm going to start uh, trading with him whenever I see that I can. Yeah, I need to trim this wave a little bit. Okay, we're both level 6 now, but I have double his CS. Just from just because like I'm always trying to freeze the wave right here outside of my tower range. You want to try to keep like 4 like caster minions if it's cannon wave? Or like three of his regular wave. It also depends on the HP of the minions. If he ever like takes too many auto attacks, since I have lethal tempo, then I can E in, E like towards him and like all in him. Oh, I see an opportunity to push him towards my turret and he should die there. Yeah. So another advantage is just always freezing in the top lane here as range into melee. 
now we can push, make him miss some CS. And uh, maybe we can go for plates here. I don't honestly know where the jungler is. So I'm going to work first before I start hitting this. Also, he has... Um, no, he should have TP. So I might just recall here. Honestly, wait. He's not TPing. I want to get plate. I think I get plate. Maybe he already TP'd and I like didn't notice. There he is. He lost a little bit of tempo, but we did get a plate and his E's down. So I mean, I'll just E away here. Get out of his range. And yeah, now we just respect his uh, next E since our E cooldown is very long. So it'll be hard to get away. His E is up, but he's not close enough to hit that on me. <laughs> Their jungler is like chasing mine. Um, I'm down to just like go back to freezing here. Let's just, uh, I think we just chill guys. I have no ults. So I'm not really looking to fight without it in the early game. It's my best way of contributing in early fights until we get uh, more advantages from components. I'm just gonna keep on freezing and make this guy go down in CS. Like, this is the easiest way to climb out of low elo right here. I'm just perma freezing. And this guy doesn't really know what to do about it. He's afraid of getting ganked and he's afraid of walking too close to my soldiers. Yeah, honestly, Azir is like pretty OP right now. And he just counters like everyone in top lane. And he does fairly well into everyone in mid lane due to his long range. Yeah, now we have him the half HP. Yeah, I have 1700 gold. Getting pretty close to my Nasher. I might be able to kill this guy if he uh, takes too much poke from me. He gets too close, lets me stack up lethal tempo. Like, I'm looking for it here. Alright, we're going. We got lethal tempo fully stacked. He eat through my R, but I don't really mind. We can still kill him there. Yeah, Lethal Tempo is pretty strong and helps you get kills once you got it like fully stacked. And like it outscales like legit every other rune. So yeah, that's why I'm just obsessed with it. Also, the more attack seed Azir has, the more fun he is to play in my opinion. So now we have a 2 level lead, 50 CS. And yeah, we have about 9 CS per minute close to that. We're looking to go to 10 soon with this Nasher Tooth. But yeah. This is how you Azir in the top lane into Urgot so far. He's rushing some MR, which I respect. I do a lot of damage now, especially with this Nasher. Merc's rush into Azir is pretty good because of the MR and the movement speed helps you get out of Azir's soldiers quickly. Movement speed is a stat that counters Azir as well. Azir top meta now. Well, the thing is, it always has been, but I'd say it's uh, maybe better than it has been. But I don't know. Azir is really good into a lot of champions in top lane. Always has been. That's where all the bruisers and tanks go typically. And then if you're super, super good at the champion, you can like space well. Knowing the enemy's range in your own range. Like this, I know he's gonna E at me here. So yeah, I dodge that. And I just like, keep bottling as much as I can. Yeah, now he's gonna take a recall or die. I'm gonna try and cancel his recall here. Alright, and there we go, he's been punished. Yeah, look, we have 10 CS a minute, and we've been using these tiny advantages to choke him out of CS and XP. And then like we have full Nasher Tooth now since we farm so well. If you want to be high elo or climb, like legit, farming is the best way to do it. Just getting good at that like main fundamental. Especially on a scaling champion like Azir. Yeah, Azir can 1v9 in late game. Alright, he missed his E. I'm gonna shoot him away with my ult. Oh shit, he ulted me. He can't damage me anymore since I backed up a little there. So good not me. Yo, my team was ready to help me out. Respect. Yo, there's a Warwick coming for me, I think, also. What's this guy doing? 
Enki knows that Warwick is coming and wants to fight. I'm just gonna back up though, I don't really wanna fight. I wanna spend my gold here. Ours, yes, he's beautiful. Alright. Now we can consider Sorcerer Shoes or Berserker Greaves since we're like pretty ahead. It doesn't really matter what we buy. The meta is usually Sorcerer Shoes. Berserker Greaves can help with like pushing or if they're like extra tanky. But yeah. We're just gonna go in the meta here. Um, and let's also work towards a Shadow Flame. That is like one of his year's best second items. It feels really good and helps you lost hit kills. And he can apply the Shadow Flame a lot. Since he has a DPS champ with attack speed, he uses the Shadow Flame way better than like usual mages. So we have such a lead in Urgot now that we could just like try to kill him if he's on our screen or just like poke him low and like try to like farm his turret so we can work on the next turret. Because that next turret is worth so much gold. Oh, So he E flashed on me, which is a pretty good Urgot combo, but since I'm so ahead, I can just auto him to death and stat check him. As your stat checks pretty well. Especially when he gets ahead. Like legit, once you have Nasher Tooth, Azir is a stat check machine. More damage, more DPS, more range, more AoE, he's got it all. He's spawn our turret. You know that uh, Warwick is mid. But our turret has pretty short cooldown, we can just like use it here to feel safe. And then we have a ward up right now, so we want to go drop that in the jungle before we consider backing. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna EOA so I don't get feared. He queued through me. Or got ulted me. He misses Z, so he's just gonna die to me in my turret here. Oh my, I'm getting like... Get the space here and let tower shoot. Okay, good job. We did it. Now Warwick is still... Uh... Oh, he went on mobs. Already. We still have E up. So we can keep pushing this wave in. Maximize our gold. We see two bots, we could hit this turret here. Because we know like two are dead. This guy is running away right now. We can hit this turret. Alright, I'm gonna back off. Got it to like half HP. This wave is gonna push. And I'll be able to farm it. Possibly. Quirky's farming their Gromp, which means that um, he's denying their jungler gold. Getting himself ahead, that is one way to funnel. But I can't really help him here, because I might die too, and give up my huge bounty. So yeah, we are just gonna back there, and head back top lane. We're just gonna keep split pushing. Another fundamental that will help you climb out of the wheel is split pushing. Since there are no comms in solo queue, you can legit just like split push and cause havoc inside lane. You get strong enough to like 1v1, 1v2 or more, which is yours very good at when he's ahead because he does AoE damage from long range. Yeah, we can just continue to uh, push our lead in top lane. Perma split push. You can also team fight in river here, but there's a lot of them. I have my tower up. Yeah, my teammates have unfortunately been caught. If they send a bunch up here, I'm down to like try to fight with my turrets. But we're gonna drop a ward like right here. There's the Urgot and Quinn. I'm gonna drop turret. Nice, they're scared of me. Good. As they should be. Yeah, top lane is one of the best lanes for just like freezing and uh, split pushing in. Yeah, I have a lot of range here. This guy doesn't expect that. Not everyone knows what Azir does. Or is used to laning versus him, especially in top lane. So yeah, we just kill him there. He's 100 CS down. We have Flame Horizon them. And we're starting to take Warwick's camps. Yes, yeah, since the Infernal Dragon is up, we can maybe expect our team to be on that and we can push for this turret. If not, then we have a better chance of getting that dragon. I 
if they come for me. And I still have ult, so I can fight. Nice. That's 700 gold there from that turret. You see two mid. Yeah, they just took the dragon. We're just gonna back and spend our gold. You don't wanna stay too long on back if you have this much gold. That is a mistake I make a lot. That I'm trying to like you know reteach myself that hey, that's not good. I could TP here and just like kill them all, but Oh now we see them all. I think I can just walk here. And this is also viable. Server's going for turret, so I'm gonna make sure she isn't damaged this anymore. This guy is not ready for my damage. He's a under-leveled ADC and he had a 600 gold bounty. Top lane and solo XP in general is this broken. That guy was fed, he won bot lane, but since I'm a solo laner, I have four levels ahead of him. So yeah. Solo laning oak, very OP. They're just going to keep on pushing mid until they react to me. Zoning soldiers. Try to auto attack from max range whenever we can. We need to watch out for Warwick ult. I'm gonna E over this wall. Oh, that was almost a sick E flash from him. This guy's an Urgot player. He knows of the E flash mechanic. I was gonna try in front to back DPS with our team here. I go for Warwick. I deem him the biggest threat if he presses R on me. It uh, feels bad. Kind of losing it, but I'm still alive, and that's all that matters. This is how you 1v9 games this year. It's it's quite easy, honestly. The champion is incredibly OP right now. As long as you can play it, of course. Just gotta get good at farming. Look at my farm, guys. If I wasn't fed this game with all these kills, I would still have insane farm and like still have item advantages on these guys, XP advantages. It's all about stat checking and having more gold than your opponent. But yeah, like I said earlier, we need to uh, back when we have a ton of gold. Oh, I'm gonna stat check this guy perhaps? Oh, just kidding. The blind is too OP. So I just gave away a thousand gold and that feels bad. I was hoping to do a perfect game this game, but I think I just limit tested there. Oops. Blind is good versus here. Also, my cut down this game has done zero damage because I'm so ahead in levels. I, that's pretty funny. Yeah, Leona, Warwick, and Urgot are all supposed to like build HP and have more HP than me. Because I'm not building HP items, but since I'm such a high level, my cut down has literally done zero damage. It's funny. Alright, so they don't have any MR yet, other than like these Merc Reds, but that's not much. We go Lich Bane now for like Burst, and also it helps us like destroy towers a lot quicker. Yeah, I thought I didn't need my R to kill that Quinn. It was like very, very close. I think the blind cooked me. Like I knew I didn't have damage, but the blind was actually pretty clutch there. I couldn't like auto one more time. Yeah, I only like to R if I like feel like I absolutely need to to live. And it seems, yeah, maybe we could have used it there. This yes, game be watching my map and just be like looking at like why I'm going to these lanes. Ask yourself that question. So like now mid, I need to like defend this tower if I can. Since uh, some people got caught. Oh, my team is... uh. Having a little bit of a bad game, but I've got them. We are strong enough to take these fights. Ooh, so is Yasuo. Yasuo Yumi. Wait, I have a Yumi. You're still on me. I'm like hella fed, bro. Look at this. I mean, I saw Orwick, but I mean, I legit did not take any damage. Q auto and nice he dies. You can push mid. Three are dead. I have a wave, so I go for this turret. My ease up. I'm really, really fed. I can just all in this guy and kill him. This is what Fed Azir can do. Fed Azir is really oppressive. There is no future. 
You've got a long range dash and hella range. It's just like when you get fed, there's nothing they can do. And so there's like an ADC on steroids that does like magic damage. I need engage. Oh, he's just like a way better marksman. Yeah, of course he has 241 at 22 minutes. So we just have a never ending lead. We can uh, go for Baron now. Yumi's getting off me, which means she doesn't want to buy anything. She does want to buy something. Okay, I'll cancel my recall for you, I noticed. If I try to TP here, Yumi doesn't follow me. Yeah, we kind of need to get that fight. I'm gonna buy these components for the Witch Bane. Oh, yikes. I want to TP, but it looks like the fight is already lost and Yumi's on me and I would just ditch her, so no point. Alright, so here's where we have potential to kill the Mollet Baron, if that's what they all go for. Little trinket. Leona can E over wall. I don't know if Warwick has our... Hopefully he doesn't. Oh yeah, we can just uh, kill him like that. Fed is here, is OP. I one-shot the Quinn. Oh, we go down to the Urgot, but we got a Quadra. Oh, uh, if only I dodged that. He tanked a lot of damage from a lot of people there. But we did stop them from Baron, but yeah. I think there was a way for me to play that better and get a Penta. But yeah. We still did a good job. We stopped them from taking Baron. 1v5, 1v4. True, Urgot gold reset. <laughs> Very true. Still no MR, so now I can go like Zonias if I want to here. Zonias is really good because they're like full uh, AD. You can also go like full tank as you're this game with like two armor items, Frozen Heart, Randuins, but I mean, my team's behind, so that would feel bad. With full AP as I can just like one shot everybody. Do insane damage and carry myself. That's why I prefer damage zero over tank as <clears throat> Alright, let's get... yeah, I want to zone you. Go buy the large rod. This guy's caught, unfortunately. Yumi's decided that... oh, this guy's the wind con, he's 17 and 2. 10 CS a minute. We'll sit on the Mercer game, I like that. He, he flashed away, but we have Yumi Q to slow. I just have to auto many dies. Simple as that. Rexay's gonna cover mid. We're gonna push top. Warwick's dead, but he'll respawn soon. We're gonna check out the river here. Saver's splitting bot. I think I'm gonna try and uh so this guy's blue is up. He might come for this. Yep, here he is. I don't care if he ults me, I'm so fed that I can just press E and get the shield and kill him. That is yours OP guys. Way more OP than the average OP champion. Trust. Let's do Baron. So the jungler's dead. We could just do Baron now if the Strike is willing to tank it. Oh, Baron trying to knock me up. Whiz. Yeah. Okay, this is your damage. As your melts objectives like Baron, Dragon, Turrets, you know? Quite OP. Best champion in the game for climbing IMO. So you can just do it all. Looks like he's hovering me, but I think we'll play for Dragon here, and I can buy my last item. So I'm full blooded 26 minutes thanks to really good farm, and um, since we've had really good farm the entire game, we've been able to just like take every fight that we want, because we always have component advantage. <clears throat> can try to push out bot. 
We don't really need CS anymore, other than for like Elixir. We just kind of want to like funnel our team like any kind of gold that we can since we're full build. But yeah, we're gonna play for a dragon here, front to back, hopefully. Behind my uh, Rek'Sai Yasuo. I could engage for my Yasuo. Oh shit, this guy's splitting, but he has one minion. Alright, we're just gonna start this up and hope we have the better smiter. Also, I might just outsmite both of them. I did. <laughs> I knew it. Let's see if I can poke the scaver wall. I'm just chase them down here. Nice, very nice. They're pushing down mid. Well, we picked one of them off. All right, well, let's go ace them. I could have like split push bot here. I know my team would like probably win without me. That could have been a better option. Nice. He couldn't get the inhib. <laughs> Wait, they died? Wait, what? What happened to the Rek'Sai? Oh well. It don't matter. Alright, we can spawn turret. We also have found the pick. I'm gonna try and help him out here. Just a couple more autos and this guy dies. In two autos I did like 1700 damage. Nine hundred seventy-five damage, full build. Op. We're gonna go mid here. Okay, Quirky's bodying them. I'm gonna try and get a couple laws on this guy. I think I should die for this. Nice. My E's coming up soon. Let's see if I can kill Silver too. Even my regular auto with Nash or Lich Bane just did like 500 damage. And of course Shadow Flame. We're also trying to proxy so that we can't use the minions to uh, end, but we have a wave here. So we can end if we want. Let's see if we can get a ult for this guy. Oh, too much damage. <laughs> we haven't really been able to set them, set up this Yasuo in this game, but I mean... No need. The thing that matters the most is the easier gap. My chomp, most OP chomp ever. Yeah, that's how you carry in low elo. Those are the fundamentals you need to learn and do to just carry your games. That is the easiest way to climb it, and it works in every elo, the way I just played. Yeah, if that was educational and you liked the video or the gameplay or the vibes, please body that like button. To support the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe for daily content if you're new. Who should we honor? Let's honor the Yumi. Let's honor Obama. Former President of the United States of Obama, thank you for uh, playing Yumi this game and then realizing I was fed. The 58,000 damage, absolute 1v9. But like like I said, this is how you carry This is These are the fundamentals that apply to any champion. But I mean, I think Azir is the best champion in the game for 1v9, which is why I made him for 10 years, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another game. Peace! Him, we're laning versus a Vex mid, and these are the runes I'm running. Because the enemy team is like a long range poke, I can run Halo Blades, they're squishy, so I can do like a burst build. Well, pretty much the same build, but it's a lot burstier with Halo Blades, because we attack three times really, really fast. So it's good for like one-shotting squishies, like this kind of comp. Especially since they outrange, we can't like... Uh, well anyway, we got Hellblades, Taste of Blood, Ghost Poro, Ultimate Honor, Transcendence, Mana Flow. We got Mana Flow for our uh, Mana Sustain this game. But yeah, but against Vex, we really need to dodge our skill shots. If we can do that... Can win. But yeah, early gamers can be farming up. Vex has been uh, buffed recently, so she's probably pretty strong. I'd say she's like, she's kind of decent into Azir. Quite decent. She can R in, which makes her unstoppable. She's 
got a uh, pretty decent range with her Q to like try to poke. And I can never engage on her while her fear is up. I have to like wait for her to use her fear with one of her abilities. So whenever her bar is red, that means her fear is up on one of her abilities. So never engage on that. You'll have to try to bait it out by like acting like you're overextending and then you dodge it. Let's see if we can uh, show an example here. So I'm walking into her range, being aggressive. There, there's her E. She missed it. So now I can trade back. I can use Q, auto, auto, and boom, we won the trade. Back to Farman. She's no, like it. It's two CS so far, Sudge. To conserve mana, we're gonna farm with like regular autos as much as we can. She's in soldiers, so I'm gonna like Q auto here. And Hellblades uh, help us with the trade. And also gave us enough attack speed to last hit that one minion. So that's nice. Hellblades is back up, and so is mana flow, so. I'm gonna walk up and see if she like wants to auto this minion. Yeah, so since she farmed it, I'm gonna do a trade on her. And there we go, she's pretty low HP now. This is how you use Halo Blades in the landing phase. And this is how you use, uh, you know, low HP allied minions to, uh, you know, try and know what your opponent's gonna do. Are they gonna farm them? If yeah, you know that. If yeah, they're doing that, you can poke them with your soldier. So yeah, if he wants to farm these melee minions, He's gonna have to get poked for it just like this. These are the basics of landing right here. Azir is one of the best champions at like uh, doing this, at abusing champions when they want to farm. Just simply because he has so much range. He outranges a lot of champions. So this guy's Mia, we're gonna put some question mark pings, maybe drop a word up here towards where our jungler is. Just get more information if possible. Yeah, maybe he recalled. He did that, I mean I still have a freeze on him, it's still like kind of pushing towards me. <clears throat> it looks like our jungler is going for the bottom crab. I'm actually start pushing since I do like have a lot of gold here. I don't really want to freeze at the moment, I want to spend gold. Yeah, now we have uh, 12 CS advantage. We're just going to push this in, last hit as best we can, and then go spend our 1100, 1200 gold. We have to push one more wave after these two minions. I'm gonna pop a potion. Stay healthy, I mean, in case I get like ganked, you never know. Or like, might be bot side or top side right now. Oh, he is bot side, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said in the first game on Azir, just try to farm as best as you can. I'm just waiting till the minions are super low and then I auto. I look at my minions projectiles. That's that's how I farm. It's kind of simple. Just look at their projectiles, look at the HP bars. This guy's doing... Uh, grubs. <laughs> Let's see, what are they called again? So I'm gonna get back and then try to like push the wave. But yeah, it seems enemy team doesn't know. He's sneaking this objective for us. We like that. I'm gonna farm this under my tower. I could pull the wave and freeze it, but I didn't really want to take any damage. Yeah, I'm just farming here with the uh, projectiles of the minions and the turrets. And yeah, I have like 60 extra or 65 extra AP, so it's a lot easier to farm, especially on their tower. Early backs on is your pretty good to try to get like legit any component you can. It'll help you with farming and even trading. As your scales with AP. Let's put a control word on this. And nice, we found a ward with it. Now our Shavana can potentially sneak it because they have no vision on it. That is something Shavana loves doing. It's going for an aggressive trade here. She's pretty low on mana now. Join me and be 
a lot about mid lane is out sustaining the other opponent in terms of HP and mana. Especially mana. Especially mana when it comes to the mage matchups. Yeah, other than like his Q, his mana costs aren't that bad. Oh, thank god I got that. I was really close to missing that one. But we have enough attack speed. No board Raptors here and see if we can find Warwick. Just gonna keep pushing this guy in their tower, try to make him like miss yes. I'm gonna Q auto him here. Yeah, he's very, very low. My ward! Oh, I have a Mega Mid Prio, we have a Mega Bot Prio. We can collapse on Warwick or we can like threaten like a dive on Vex. It's so tempting to go for Vex. So tempting to dive her, but I don't want to lose all my HP to the turret. We'll just push in again. If she chooses the recall here, she'll miss a wave if I push this wave in. Oh, is she staying? I'm gonna put a soldier over here. Maybe she'll try to farm this mini mother Q if I let her. Oh, she outed it. Oops. I wanna like all in her, but she can like fear me here, so then it's like a reaction test. Do we test her reactions? You auto for max range outside of tower range here. Yeah, let's continue to push her in. She stays. I might dive her. She doesn't stay. She's gonna lose kind of wave. Can't wait for my Q. I see Warwick. He's not level six yet, so I do uh, have an angle to dive. Oh, he's six now. Oh. And Jace is in river. If he ults me, I don't really care. Then I can just ult him afterwards. Uh, he's squishy. And I have Halo Blade, so I just kind of like burst in there. Take half his HP with my level advantage. You'll always be like a level up on your on like the junglers. 200 from Nasher. I'm going to try to uh, greed that and like hit this uh, power plate or farm this next wave for it. Maybe we get both. Oh hell yeah, we got both. I'm gonna push this wave. If I don't push this wave, then she'll get back before I do and push my wave in. And then they'll miss the XP. But yeah, now we're just looking to reset. We have like close to perfect CS, 99 at 9 minutes 50. We can afford a Nasher, and now we can use this Nasher tooth to just like 1v9. This is, uh, if you can farm like this, you can climb like any elo. This is the easiest way to climb in League of Legends right here, is just being better at farming than your opponent. And then you stat check them. And like, I don't even care that my team is like feeding and losing, because I'm fed, I feel like I can 1v9. Okay, I got the XP for that cannon at least, by drifting in there, close to it. Yeah, even though it works, 3-0, I'm stronger than because my farm is better, and I'm a soul laner. He's on grubs, I might go check him. And I'll ward her right here to see if Vex roams, if she does. You want these? What's up? Wow, 600 gold. You're squishy. Oh, hello there. Flash out of her skill shots. I think we can kill this guy. But we did get a grub. And we got two kills. Did I just get two shutdowns? Oh, I did. Okay, so I just got 1200 gold. Two 600. This guy, no fear. I was going to all in. We got the Azir bug, but it's okay. He teleported, but it's fine. Yeah, Hello Blades, Nasher Tooth. Just kind of lets you all in get a kill right there. And then, since we have Counter Wave, I can use it to get one more plate and then leave before I get ganked by Warwick. Oh, he's already coming. Okay, we're out. 
Okay, we have CP to catch this next wave here and not miss anything. Tadashi, thank you for the 13 months, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. 2200 gold. Let's buy boots. Let's buy Hextech Alternator. I TP her. I'm gonna TP here. Lux is walking past the turret. I might get a double kill. Okay, got him. I'm gonna drift through the wall onto the Lux here. I feel like I don't need to ult her. Also, I had red buff slowing her. She's nowhere to run. No need to use my ult. Unless I want to be greedy and like, like make sure I lost it. But I could could have just had my auto a bit longer if I wanted to KS. Kill secure. Can I ult you? Didn't take any tower shots, but since I'm ahead, I just kill. I feel like Azir is the most OP champion in the game when ahead, compared to any other champion when ahead. He scales harder. He's got a better kit. I'm gonna drop my uh, tower here, in case anyone wants to mess with me. And then we can use this pressure to steal raptors. We saw where we come bot side. He's farming Grant, so we can take his top side camps to get ourselves ahead and also put him further behind. I'm gonna see if his Krugs are up since his raptors are up. I'm also gonna go proxy this wave. Since I see this wave here, I can take this wave. Haha, <laughs> Vex is coming for me. Might recall in this push. <laughs> I'm gonna get away. I could kill him actually, but I'm just gonna buy my Shadow Flame here and then guarantee that I don't give away my shutdown in case I get like one shot by Vex after killing, using everything on the Jace there. I was hoping I could proxy this wave and then take the Krogs, but Vex was like, no, you must pay. Uh oh. We're gonna just run to this fight here. Berwick, no R. Want to back it with auto attacks. Gonna all in the Warwick. Trying not to get feared by Vex here. Our fear's done. Maybe we can get behind them. They have nowhere to run. Actually, they can run to that turret. <clears throat> no, I just two hit the Ash from her HP. The power of Shadow Flame and from being ahead. As you went ahead, most fun champ in the game. Good dive Lux, but I'm gonna just go push mid. That's not changes the Fetish Codex. Didn't they just like reduce the AP by like five or something? By 15? What? Oh my god. Okay, my bot was reading chat. She EQ'd away. He's really fed apparently. By 15? That doesn't sound right. Oh, that's his flash. Shivana has two levels from farming. She should win this by 10. From 35 to 25. Oh wow, that's kind of insane. I thought it was by 5 at first, which is like, mm, okay. But 10 is kind of like a lot. I want to TP bot for that wave. And the split push for the turret. But. I'm just walk mid here. May see us. Hey, rude. You made me miss cannon. You reported. Yeah, you're bad, buddy. You're bad. I 
Yeah. We want rifts, side lane turrets. Because they're worth a lot of gold. Didn't they make this turret worth like 450, 500? I forgot. They made the turrets in mid tower worth a bit more. This guy's alone. Oh, he's in my range of my ult. Boom, one shot, one combo. So we know two bot, two top. Now we're going to push and uh, finish off this turret. Let's see how much gold this is worth again, because I don't remember. But I remember they buffed it a bit. Oh, 450, yeah. I kind of remembered. Ooh. I want to farm this next wave or like take any jungle camps I can since I'm super duper strong. What's up? Yeah, I got the wolf. I'm going to get the other wolf. Where'd he go? I mean, nah, it's not worth my flash. It's not worth my flash. Because I have bounty, that's not worth my flash. So I'm not going to flash after in there and kill him. Well, since we pushed him off the map by making his HP low, we can take his whole jungle. Which also allows my team to pressure map a bit more too. I'm gonna go recall and heal up a BTP. Help out my Aatrox or push mid here. Got stunned, but that's okay. Since it was a short range Ash hold, I'm not stunned for that long. Yo, Maverick in your chat, what's up, brother? Oh, here's the fed jace that we need revenge on. For what you did when I read my chit chat. You will pay. Wow, I got Warwick ulted. I can't move. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit ego. But we got two kills off it. I was hoping they could follow up slightly sooner, but I mean, they did follow up. Better late than never. Oh, I died in 2.2 seconds. Their support did the most damage to me, what the heck? Alright, maybe that was um, bad ego play. It was fun though. At least we got some kills off it. My teammates like that. I gave away bounty, so it's like... That was worth for me. So I'll just say that was an unnecessary play. For sure. It's good to limit test and like, learn what fights you can take. It's like maybe I could've used my flash to perfectly dodge Warwick ult. But it's hard to react from that close range. But yeah, we're just going to go back to side lane because our turret's up. And my champion at three items can just kind of 1v3 at bare minimum here. We take turrets super fast. We want to keep getting solo XP and gold onto ourselves. So we can still get stronger. Yeah, I'm gonna try and take this turret here. Dodge her fear. Drop my turrets. If they walked up right here, I was about to like EQ flash and R them both. But they kept their distance. They were almost in my kill range. Oh, this guy's in my kill range. Ooh, Warwick ult is down. I like that. I'm just gonna walk up. Drop a soldier to kill. That's a Vex ult. Take it, that'd be hilarious. Hello Warwick. Helping Vex would like ult in on me, that'd have been so funny. If she tried to play hero. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I took a tower shot. Cause I was like, attack moving up here. But I wanted to flash out of the wall here. 
bro. This Lux is actually one-shotting me with just an item and a half. That's really disturbing. Oof, I would uninstall is you. Um how would I do that? I love League of Legends, dude. <laughs> Damn, you're just actually thank her for snaring me out of vision. He's two good guys. <laughs> but I'm 13 and 3 with 5 items. I'm not sure why I would uninstall here. Not sure why I would do that. Be kind of vibing with 5 items. Might TP down here. Yeah, fuck it. Let's fight. I have Aatrox and Shivana here. He can an auto attack while we shuffle that guy. Pretty solid play. We got two of them down. Now we can uh, push it down bot and maybe take inhib at very least or end the game because it's 3v5 now. Not to end the game. I'm more motivated than ever to take Lux's LP because she typed to me. I don't like being tight too. She has no snare. No Lux. No Ash ult either. Oh, they're quite diveable then. Lux snare is down. Let's see if we can get close. Nope, oh, she's staying off screen. Oh, where can Jace her up? I'm just gonna back out. Until our next wave's a bit closer. Oh, I have a Vex on me. I can front the back this and just like kill everyone. Maybe punted them here. I still have flash ults, so I can re-engage on them. Ox is pretty good at like throwing an ability and then running three screens away. Auto quadra. No quadra. Can take turret here. Bro wakes up soon. Lux no snare, time to kill. Oh, see you later, Warwick. Oh. oh my god, they flashed on me. It was bad. I just did a lot of damage, just two items. Interesting. Alright, we carried it. Had good CS, good kills. Some avoidable deaths for sure. Could have been cleaner. But we only added a bit of extra fun to it. But yeah, GG's. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, body that like button, subscribe for daily content, leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another game. Peace! We've got a pretty tough matchup, LeBlanc. Historically is good into Azir. So in this matchup, you should consider Halo Blades or uh, Fleet Footwork for sustain. But yeah, the key to winning this matchup is to making sure you dodge the Blonky. That is one of them. And then if you're, uh, you know, going for like a straight up fight with her, and she all ins you, and you want to chunk her out or go for a kill, you can cancel her W or her RW with good timing from the ult knockback. And that will make LeBlanc W not do any damage. So yeah, those are the two main things in this matchup. And also LeBlanc... If she gets pushed in, she can't really do anything. She can't roam. She can't really push back that well without using her W. Yeah. So it looks like she's going for a trade. We're aiming for an even trade here. Looks like we got it. But we did have to commit a lot of mana for that. Yeah, she does that whenever she wants to proc electrocute. But I'd say that's fine since it went even. Oh my, bot lane is already gapped at level 1. <laughs> oh no, not level 1. It's too early. And then he typed, GG.
Not GG, just battery. We fine? Hell yeah, that's the mental we need. That's what I like to hear. He's cute to with that minion. I hate missing CS. Can you drop a ward soon? At least on our top side. Talia's bot side. So yes, ward will be here. Boom, right here. We can see if Udyr walks in our jungle or like wants the gank mid. Yeah, but I do want to push in the Blanc and like make her miss CS under tower or just like prevent her from roaming early, which is when she's strongest over me. Just need to make sure I have vision so I can push up without getting ganked by Udyr. Because LeBlanc has very good gank setup. Oh, well, there he is. Interesting. Right, so he's pushing towards me, but I don't really want that. But yeah, we know Udyr's right there. We're in a ping. Pingling. Please, no one die. This guy wants to trade me, so I'm just going to sit in the minion wave here so he can't land busy. I'm still trying to last hit minions as best as I can here. Team. Just taking some bad fights. Uh oh, Udyr's getting fed. Uh oh. Udyr's really hard to kill, especially if he gets fed. You need lethal tempo to kill Udyr. Oh shit, that hit, that's really bad. Oh, I got ignited too. Just gonna back up here. This wave pushes into me. I'm going to back here. This wave will come in time to catch this wave, so I won't miss anything. Yeah, we're still gonna go with Nasher Tooth first here. Then we'll buy a refillable potion. TP back. He used Ignite. And now the TP advantage is mine. I wonder if I could all under there. Yeah, maybe could have made her use Flash. I'm gonna clear this wave up a bit and freeze it like this. We're gonna leave five minions here because these are very low minions. So this is how we freeze and get CS lead, build up tiny advantages. And then we make these tiny advantages into big advantages later on. Up seven CS. I'm gonna slowly start trimming this. She's back now, and now we have like a 10 CS lead. Keep the wave right here. Oh, ouch. I got minion blocked when I tried to back up there. Feels bad. Yeah, we're going to outscale a bonk. We just want to outfarm her and not die to her. And we do this through good wave management. This is one of the harder is your matchups. Okay, Fork Tail of Blades. Get an auto or two more on her here. Nice. That's good. Oh, this is bad. It's an absolute jungle gap. When the Udyr is ahead, he's just a monster that runs you over. Yeah, I cannot run to that. That would be bad for me. W's down somebody. Oh, I thought it was down. I wonder if that was her RW. Ooh, plus 25 from killing her clone. Sweet. Oh. Nice. We farmed perfectly right there. We 
we're very low HP here, so we're just going to uh, let the wave come into us. Cross it when we can. Stay out of the longs range. I'm gonna flash. Wait, I thought I had more mana to like EN and press R, but I did not. Ah, oh, this is bad. Maybe you can ask for a jungler for help, but he's ganking top. I don't even think I needed to flash there. Brutal. I'll ask her jungler to come mid here. So we can farm and reset. Okay, there's running away the LeBlanc. I like it. There's an Udyr here. I think they made the Blanc flash. But yeah, while this while this occurs, I'm just looking to uh boss hit these minions. I don't really offer anything here, which is so sad. Run. Oh my god, there's so many. Foodier pushes this, that's fine with me. Or if he leaves, that's also fine with me. We're just still going for the minions. Wow, it's 10 to 2, but still is winnable. Got our wave pushed in at the cost of Artelia and Janna. It is what it is. Rip them. Uh, comp also is kind of not the best. You only have engage other than like my R, Yone R. I'm probably just going to be like playing for myself this whole game. Split pushing maybe. Showing up for important team fights like a dragon. Okay, make sure we got like pretty good CS this game. Despite all this happened to our teammates. And on Azir, that's what matters the most. Long is top, I can push. Drop a word on my top side. Go for plate maybe. Or I can clear this word. I don't have any minions. It's not enough. Blanc is still up there. Oh my, bot lane is running it down. And they have Essence Reaver. Oh, I get a place here. I can afford Nash or Tooth. And now I'm like way stronger in this LeBlanc. I think we start winning trades with Halo Blades. I'm just gonna back and go for an Astro Tooth here. Hey Shepard Souls, how you doing today, buddy? I'm gonna see if you back here. Our teammates are building up some juicy shutdowns for us. It's Lethality Udyr. Also, this guy just used W. Oh, there's his other W. gonna drift around this guy. Bro, it's so fast. He's probably gonna go for his raptors now or try to gank me again, so I'm gonna ward my bot side real quick. So I know I'm safe to push without him getting behind me again. Wow, what Murado when she does. But I don't wanna force it. It's not worth it. Good night, Mika. Thanks for coming by. Doing great. I worked today, which was on Don't Work Tuesday. I see, I see. Boy, man, as long as you got paid, 
for this extra day, then, you know, that's, that's worth. Okay, 130 CS, 13 minutes. Very cool. And another plate. It's like, even though they're super fed, I'm actually more fed than them. Thanks to the CS. Alright, there's a dragon here and they know I'm gonna come just hover. In case their bot lane tries to poke us down. Go for this dude here. Going for the Lux here. Dodge the D long key. And nice. Some shutdowns for me and the team. I'm gonna push out bot. Because I have a way of dying mid. I want to keep making sure I'm getting gold here. And now I'm just going to recall. Kaisa is going mid. So she'll push in the wave. Now that I'm on my way back there, we're going to buy a large rod. Recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Teaching how to 1v9 your way out of low elo. She's overstaying in mid lane. She needs to go back bot. Okay, nice. She's gonna go back bot. But I mean, she's kinda low from trading with LeBlanc. Cause kinda troll of her. Oh, okay. Ooh, a blue buff. Let's go grab that. Control word this. Oh, hello there. I'm gonna keep running. LeBlanc is lurking. I think it LeBlanc low. Fuck. Oh, she missed her E. As long as you dodge LeBlanc E, you win. I think I just got my ult up. What are yours top? Lux maybe reset. And she has no R to kill me, so we're gonna try to finish off this turret. Now we're 202 with 10 CS a minute. Just slowly building up small leads. Gonna start matching the Fiora soon, probably. I'm gonna split top here. I wanna try and uh, kill Fiora 1v1. She's getting too fed. We're going for a Rabadon second. Rabadon second's good. We're snowballing. Oh, what is this? That's Fiora, which means I'm gonna go for top tower. That's Fiora's TP. So not only maybe Urier or their bot lane can be up here to defend. Let's ward this bush. 4 Fiora. Or you just took the grubs. Let's see if we can get this top turret. Oh, Fiora died at least. That's worth it. She got a shutdown. So it's very worth. The one for one. She only got her support. Huge worth. Not the greatest TP from her. She should have just kept splitting when she's like this far ahead. So now I can almost buy Rabadon. Okay, they killed the Lux. Pretty cool. We're gonna steal Gromp here. Any wolves for us to steal? Oh hell yeah. Weir's gonna be mad. So I can buy Rabadon, but... I'm going to maybe fight Fiora here. I'll start bone plating down. We're gonna go clear this wave. Oh, no way. I'm gonna E for another soldier. I can just kill her with autos. I don't even need to ult her. Against Fiora, you don't want to ult until after she uses W. Because she can block your W. She'll always save W for like the last second. To try to get you low and make you like panic ult. <laughs> nice. 
We gotta just come back into melee range so we can land the ult. So that's where Uriur is. Don't know where their bot lane is though. Oh, there they are. I might TP here. After I buy Rabadon. Oh, there's this real. Okay. Let's go Lich Pain. We can just keep splitting. We're not really gonna be grouping this game. Splitting's OP. I'm gonna walk mid here, get Pryo. But I think that's free dragon for our team because three are dead. The jungler being the main important one to be dead for the free dragon. 200 CS. 19 minutes. Easiest way to 1v9. Just farm. Wow, I think I got one shot. This guy's gonna walk here, maybe? What's up, man? Hey, you know where you are right now? He does not. He does not know where he is right now. His camera is somewhere else. It's not on him. The way we just killed him. I mean, I guess I'll all in you. I'm so fed I can just do this to their underleveled bot lane. I'm overleveled. 1v9 is activated. Doesn't matter if my team had a bad early game. Because I had a good game. I had a perfect game. Perfect game being that 10 plus years per minute and we are deathless. Alright, don't want to take their... It probably would be okay to take their inhib because they don't have the best wave clear this game. Their best wave clear is like their support. You got the turret, we're gonna just back out and take their jungle. Tonight, Udyr, get ourselves even more ahead. Yeah, 430 AP already is insane. I should drop board here. The whole team's bot. Oh, this guy's mad. He's a Kanic Rooker. Spooky. I'm just gonna keep my distance from him. Oh, it won't it. You want to walk into this soldier? You can't reach me without flash. Just thing behind the wall and autoing him to death. Nothing you can do. He doesn't have flash. He only has ghost. <laughs> okay. 3,200 gold, so we're going to recall. I can the grasp is your build persona has no practice. Oh. I mean, I think Lethal Tempo or Halo Blades is your, or the best runes. Solo Q is all about like carrying yourself out. You could like maybe go tank Azir if you get into high elo and you can like play for your teammates more. Tank Azir is just all about like setting up your team with good ults. Or if enemy team's like super heavy on AD or AP, you can like stack to uh use instance items and be like pretty unkillable. But when my teammates are having a bad game and I go that build, I can't carry. So that's why I just go full damage every game to guarantee my victories. Just play for yourself like I'm doing this game. Look how fed I am. I don't care what's going on elsewhere. I am just split pushing. Not much they can do about it. I'm creating so much pressure. You, if you want to climb, need to be the most consistent factor in your solo queue games. Hey, sorry, I limit tested. Oops, thought he was gonna run towards me a bit more, but I'm pretty scary. Be careful. Let's wait for Shadow Flame here. Could go for Void Staff or Crit Bloom because they are buying MR, but I've already bought a large rod. 
But I mean, I have so much AP, it doesn't matter. I'm so ahead. You don't matter. Grr. Team is getting kills. That's hilarious. Hello, Fiora. Sorry, this game is a mid gap, not a top gap. <gasps> Boop. That's my tax for the 1v9. Thank you. And GG. They have left. We have killed their morale. Victory. Victory. Yeah, legit, this gameplay is the best example of how to climb on Azure. Sick. We honor him. Janna, she was positive that one time. You sure another player in one of your recent games a penalty for abusing text chat? Ha! Sucker. 20k damage. 8 no. 276 yes at 23 minutes 40 seconds. Clean. Yeah, GG. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, support the video by bodying that like button, subscribing if you're new for daily content, and leave a comment down below what you think. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another game. Push. Alright guys, this game, I'm main versus a smolder mid, <clears throat> and since he's a scaling champ, and I mean, their comp overall is very squishy, long range, Hellblades is very good against that kind of comp, so we can go with Lethal Tempo, the 1v9 rune that I love, it's also like viable here, but the Hellblades, we can uh, maybe have a better laning phase in this smolder and try to abuse him. We're gonna want to like try to poke him out as much as we can so he doesn't stack up and become uh, the OP cheese machine that he is in the late game. He has insane amounts of AoE and then that execute. Yeah, we want to make sure he doesn't get there. And now yeah, we're just gonna try it and farm up for some components and use range advantage to poke out Smolder. Then maybe all in him if we can get him into kill range. I'm gonna use our hell blades here. He didn't like that. He angry emoted. All right, Kindred's top side. She's gonna be at uh, Skull Crab after she full clears top. So where's my bot side? We'll have vision of top river soon. But no vision of bottom river. Thank god I got that cannon. I, f I had a feeling it was going to be really close. By 1 HP. We got lucky there, I think. The first cannon on his ear is always the hardest to farm. Until you get more damage. So it's big morale boost if you can get that. There's like big morale boost if you can farm like the first few waves perfectly. Can we auto them there? Got mana flow. I made sure we lost with the minions. Okay, we see the fiddle. I'm gonna try to push this guy in. Need to pan my camera soon. He got the crab. Jungle diff. That was a pretty scary champion. He just like makes sure you don't move for like five seconds straight while he AoEs drains you. He's got the silence and the fear. And it feels by it. Alright, so we got this guy pushed in. We can uh, help Kindred now. Once we lost it, these minions. Hey, yo, get away from our camp. Oh, he flashed that. Don't tell me he got that. He did. 
Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get any KP on that, but I mean, I did get XP. So it's whatever. But wow, dude, he's outsmarting my Kindred so hard. My Kindred has been outsmarted twice. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it, because he flashed and died. Yeah, I'd say not worth. <laughs> I'd say not worth. That's how to uh, throw a lead. Yeah. It all did make it uh, so that I think my jungler is uh, going to get outsmited all game. Terrible performance so far from the Kindred uh, Smites. 0 out of 10. Don't have much damage yet. But we can use our spells on him since we're gonna try to reset soon. It's okay to run a mana. So we want to reset very soon. We have TP and we want to spend this gold. Let's see bad things opponents. Maybe get him low enough for some kills. And at the very least we push him out of lane. I need to avoid getting hit by those because those give him stacks. He's 45 stacks. He's doing good stacking so far. It's on top river. Ah. They got the grubs. Alright, I'm gonna reset, spend this gold, and then we can start out trading this molder very hard. Kind of overstaying. Okay, let's get back as fast as we can here. And this is what happens when you overstay. Now I can freeze. And I still have flash. And he used his flash. So I can ult him to my jungler or towards my turret. Trim this a little. While he farms cannon, we go for trade there. Ooh, his E is down. Whoa there. I had a misclick there. Oh my gosh. Alright, we still want it. We played it good enough to get the kill. Alright, time to reset. Wow, this fiddle is getting legit all the objectives. The 200 HP, I don't want to fight this. I'm not sure why they stuck around there in river when there's nothing there. I'm gonna get boots. For the movement speed. Gonna work my top side. We're gonna start using our Q on Smolder. Our components are nice. Make sure this guy does not get the cannon. I'm gonna go for a very aggressive trade. Oh wow, I'm in tower range. <laughs> very, very aggressive trade, but. Maybe kill him if I see a jungler elsewhere. Hmm, I could have EQ'd on him there. I just like don't screw their junglers. Uh, he's bot now. Okay. Oh, he's still here. Just gonna try and kill him. If I back up, he's more likely to like walk forward. 
now we're in range and boom, dead. Try to make them feel like they're safe by like getting out of range. Oh, what is this? Let's go. We outplayed him, even though he flashed on me. That was good ult. I ulted by the time I thought his Q could like connect to me. And he also like flashed on top of it at the same time instead of just like queuing. Ooh, 25 gold or 35 gold I mean for Nashra 2, so I'm gonna wait for that. I notice in all my games, I'm not playing I'm not really playing off my team that much. And I'm not really playing off them at all in the early game. I am just to win my game. This is my playstyle. Just win the one v one. We can lane better than them. Is your more OP? I have no Pryo and Kinder's just kind of uh, fighting them, so that's bad. Never play off your team. Not till like high high elo. We got a 1v9 your way to Haila. That was top side, I believe. I'm gonna see if I can take his Raptors. Yeah, we'll sleep on there. Oh, I wanted to try to like get him feared by that box there. All right, I'm gonna back up. Actually, Fiddle surely has no ult, right? Oh man, this is so risky. I'm just getting that one plate. I don't know if he ulted or not, so I'm just gonna back off. I have to play with what I know. Bot lane is losing. They are Caitlyn and Milia, really good bot lane pair compared to Jin Shackle. All right, they're all squishy. I don't want to play with my team this game, so I'm gonna go Lich Bane. Oh no, way Kindred's taking my farm. I mean, whatever. Whatever. Maybe it was fine. I didn't see the wave state, but it still feels rude. Oh wait, so she could get 69 CS. Uh, okay, I respect that. Yeah, now we can just kind of use our lead and hail blades to like poke this guy down while he like tries to sit several screens away. Slowly poke him down. Bleh. Everything my teammates fight. Oh, wait a second, just kidding, except for that one, I was about to say. They do not lose every fight. Let it be known, they only lose seven fights in a row. They're gonna get every objective. Gonna all in this guy. Made him use flash. That's good. Oof. Almost got him. Yeah, while well, their team's making plays, I'm making plays. Where is he? Oh, there he is. This is illegal. Nice, I got the bounty. Oh. Why did Kindred leave her ult? Maybe she tried to flash away, but just like, I don't know. She misplayed that, I think. <laughs> but that's okay. I punished the fiddle roam, and the smolder TP was uh, interesting. If you're smolder here, you just want to keep like stacking, because you're 
as Smolder, you're basically useless to like my IMO like 125 stacks, the one that gives you like the extra AOE, and at 225 you can like actually carry fights pretty hard with the execute damage. Yeah, since I want this wave, I'm gonna drop my turret for safety. Okay, there's Fiddle. Oh, might be able to kill him in his jungle here. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness, the CC. Got him though. Perfect. Just gonna keep on running. I have a 3 level lead and my ultimate, so I'm gonna try and fight it. Oh. I got some other ulted. In that case, we don't have to fight it. I will wait for these minions to come to me though, before I reset. I have a lot of gold, so I definitely should spend it. And try not to limit tests too hard with low HP. We set good example. Good discipline. Do not always limit test, even though you are stronger. Spend the gold. Alright, now I can consider... Banshees for Fiddle, Zonyas. I want to like dive in or survive getting those. Shadow Flame, Rabadon, more damage, like it's all viable. I see ping top here. Yeah. Bug. Got him hitting tower. Might be able to reach him. I'm gonna greed my ult. Shouldn't need it. Oh, I lost vision. He put up quite the fight. Considering he has no items. <laughs> considering I have two and a half, like that's... Oh, I took a lot of HP there. Took a lot of damage there, I mean. Lost a lot of HP. Just gonna pick up this red buff. Oh fuck, it's warded. Oh. I was like, oh my god, it's Wardy, he's about to show up. Hey, yo. Uh, Jin? Hope you're okay. Okay, I'm just gonna do this, Harold. Holy fight. Mate, you should be back up in time before enemy enemies get close to me. Send over wall and auto attack so we don't die. And I'm out of mana, so like I'm just gonna leave. We are out of there. Need to get our mana back. <laughs> yeah, everyone just kind of sticks around. Could we go for the jacks here over a few CS? He jumped to the Scryer's Loom. Perfect. Oh, I'm dead to Caitlyn ult and I couldn't kill Milia. My... Maybe I should've went to Dragon. I thought I could kill more. But it's good enough maybe. Kill 2. Bounce 4v3. Actually Jin's kinda low, he's not very relevant in this fight. Teammates are not showing very good gameplay here. It's all up to me. I need to play uh, better macro by not like trading one for two. I should have been at this dragon fight instead. That's where I should have fought instead of up here. But yeah, no, I thought I could kill more. Jack's champion kind of OP. 
King Driver died in me. With his ult. Lives in me. Teammates are yapping. Okay, our farm is like kind of behind now since I took some fights. Maybe we just go back to side lane. We're just using Lich Bane here to take this tower faster. I'm gonna drop my tower, start pressuring. And we're trying to ward this tribush. So nobody can get behind me. It's like we have to find Fiddle before he finds us. Ah oh, fuck, there he is. Oh, he got the fear off. No shot. He's trying to get in the bush and ult me. There we go, we picked off the fiddle. We just have to kill him before he can kill us. Now I just win the 1v1 here. Just gonna push him in. Good job, Kindred. a little EQ tech there to reposition and poke in max range. So yeah, he's chunked and has to leave now. Yeah, with this fiddle being gone, I can now take this turret. Three lich main procs. Yeah, let's go by. Oh my god, we're keeping. Oh, I thought... Just kidding. Hit the tower. Sweet. Okay, worth. Ooh, I can buy Rabadon. I'm gonna do that here. 549 AP. They're gonna melt. Teammates are yapping, but we are clapping. <laughs> True. Ooh, 58 haste. Teammates have zero pressure on the map, so we're just gonna chill. Some chill uh, farming in our jungle, where it's safe. Chaco wants to farm mid wave? No. That was my mid wave. Oh, easy there. Alright, back to side lane I go. I have TP. If uh, we ever get a chance to do Baron, I could TP that way. Yeah, fighting with my underfed team is not that ideal. We will what has been lost. Where is Fiddle? Oh, he's topside. Why was this mother position so far up? Fiddle was right up there. See if we can pick off the fiddle. This is worded that I'm just like dead. Dude, where is he? What? Maybe he's like sitting here. There he is. Should I go for flank? No. Maybe not. Legends 1 HP. Alright. Should get pushing bot there. My teammates are walking into them and dying. Just too top. Might push bot one more wave and drop tower and maybe like fight them. Two here, two top. Fiddle around dragon area. I just need to put ward over wall here. Alright, he's over there. We're going to push for the turret. Fortunately, the smolder is back. Pretty soon here. But Lich Bane is OP, so we're bursting the tower. Oh, we burst him too. Oh, he's his execute now. 
I was all kind of autoing there. That was weird. <laughs> oh, that was Infernal Dragon Soul? Oh, well. It's pretty hard to fight that. I'm gonna buy a blue elixir here. So I'm able to ace them, or have to fight them soon, because they're going to force fights on us with Infernal Soul. So we're seeing max damage right now. To 1v9. Christian is very mad at the... who? Kindred? Ah. Yeah, I'm sure when one kind of caring, they could stop yapping. It is pointless to yap to your teammates. Nobody cares what you have to say. Oh, fuck, I'm going to get ulted. I don't die to that, right? Holy shit. Okay. Maybe I should have pressed star there. I didn't expect her to get healed up like that. This gives me money for Shadow Flame, so I'm gonna grab this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our team is very heavy this game. <laughs> Our Jin is just a great splitting bot now. Uh, go Fork. Did they go to Baron? They did not. That is good. To win a team fight, we need to not get hit by a fiddle ult. Maybe we can pick off Jax here. He's squishy. Shouldn't have told him. No way. How's he alive? How is one item Jack so tanky? Oh shit. I'm into him. Wow, I entered. But how is this champion so tanky? That's disgusting. I'm like, no way I have to ult this one item Jax. But I think we lost Baron there. And also Shaco just straight up left the play. Which we appreciate a lot. Okay, I guess we need Void Staff for the Jaxal. He's disgustingly tanky, it makes no sense. Damn. This is the tough one. It's gonna deafen. Annoying. Annoying yappers. Alright, we have to 1v9 versus Baron and Infernal Soul somehow. One thing I maybe could have done differently this game is like try to 1v9 at like Dragon, but I feel like my teammates were always like dead around Dragon. <laughs> I should get to go try to like push bot. Nice, got a couple autos there. That would scare them. Revenant shuffle on Smolder. Oh, he lives. Where does he? Nope, oh, Aatrox. Can't land Qs. On our auto to kill this guy. Oh, amazing Kindred ult. That was beautiful. You're the best Kindred of all time. <laughs> Please don't FF, Kenwin. 
the most unkillable jacks they've ever seen. I need to go get mana. Hey, Volt Student. Cool. Still scaling. That was close. I almost got executed. That was a bit of a limit test. Maybe could have TP'd on there and try to end, but I would have to have done it sooner. I'm gonna try. I wanna try. Maybe if I kill this guy. Jax is about to spawn. Dude, nah, that's so broken. That fear is so broken. Fuck. We do Elder Fiddles Chunked. We get Elder off of this. This is this is a good play. It got us Elder Dragon. Let's go. Whew. Tough game. Wow, my team has no wave clear. I have to kill these even on full build. Here. I just need this wave to push out. I want to keep pressuring bot lane. Just to get picks down there, I can just end the game very quickly. With my full build. I just need to pick off Fiddlestick somehow. Maybe she went Banshees for this guy. He's like legit the only issue for me this game, other than like the Jax randomly just living with 1 HP every time. With just 1 2 items. Weird. Will you? He's right there. I don't think I can engage because Milio Q can just knock me out. But yeah, I don't want to engage. It's so scary. It's late in the game when they're so fed. I'm squishy. I need to be able to just do DPS and auto attack if we do fight. I only engage if it's just like, I know it's free. Free win. You idiots, you just legit walked into him. Exactly where I think them, that's so funny. Swaller's dead. He eat in. Lamau. Front two back. Kill them, one shot them when they overextend. Oh, Fiddle is down. Can win. Like a legit ping Fiddle was walking that bush they walked in, man. Oh my. Oh my. Also, my Jin's running it. He's so talented. Okay, nice. We got Caitlyn Flash with a half drift. What? Okay, that's cringe. Dude, no fucking way. <laughs> Six item Caitlyn almost one shot me. Damn. That headshot was so nasty. And this Milio healing is pretty nasty too. I'm gonna keep my build this way in here. I'm playing full glass cannon. We just have to position perfectly. Hmm. Wow, long game. I have to try so hard to not get like picked off by fiddlesticks. I just spawning a soldier like cancel my auto. It could be over this wall, it's too scary. I wanna fight so bad here. Ah. Where's this stupid OB champion that can 
Perma CC. Perma CC me. Not to flip this. I do it super fast. 1000 damage with that auto. As long as Fiddle's not behind us somehow. Stun? I'm gonna drop my turret mid here. It'd be nice if Aatrox ever pushed top lane. Have to spread out the routine. There you go, my turrets. She used the re, I have to go in on that. It's so illegal. Oh fuck. Dude, my Kindred can't even ult me, man. She can't do anything right this game. It's so funny. This poor guy. Cannot play his champion at all. And my team is losing. My Kindred, man. <laughs> also, for some reason, I thought he was my teammate, but oh well. When I saw Fiddle. I didn't realize it was Fiddle. But man, I wish my Kindred could just press R at the right time once this game. But in low elo, you can't expect that. But I think I'm gonna get rid of boots for Banshees. Now that we have enough gold for six items. We get more AP this way and the shield's nice. And we still have like okay movement speed since we have Lich Bane. Please hit that boss cone. And then we're gonna do Elder. You can have it for gold. Uh, dude, nobody's blocking the fucking Caitlyn ult, man. I should have ulted the Jax, I guess. I'm so greedy with my ult. Alright, well, we might have lost. Because my team is so useless, and I misplayed by not ulting Jax. No. Yeah, some, some games you just have to play off suit perfectly. I don't know, maybe it's not over because our waves are good. Dear lord. Has to be the worst game of my teammates' lives. They're so useless, Sudge. Man, if I just ulted that Jax away and didn't get stunned, and if anyone blocked Caitlyn ult, 1100 damage from Caitlyn ult, man, that's so gross. Oh fuck. Ah, we can still win. We can still win. <laughs> Man. Our jungle's really scary, by the way. Don't just blindly walk in there, man. Okay, I need to play a team fight front to back. There you go. I nice, almost killed him. Somebody block. <laughs> oh, he's so low. No way she flashed that. Who's the bees at? Wish we had engage in this comp. That wasn't me. 
<laughs> Holy shit, this game is hard. I made some mistakes. We just want to stall out their elder. This is fine, that nothing is happening right now. We just fight for this Baron, and I think their elder is up by then. Oh, I don't have Blue Trinket. I mean, Elixir. Love it, which pain proc can crit? crit? Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty OP. <clears throat> Team's getting caught top. Oh, they got smolder. Fiddle ult is down, let's fucking go. Knowing how strong this Caitlyn is. This guy no EQ. Huge. Huge. Because Jax has no EQ, he's very easy to kill there. I need Shaco to run to this Baron. Okay, that's how healthy Fiddle is. I think they're gonna finish it before I get close enough. ADC gap. Damn it. Fucking hell, her headshot damage. <laughs> what the fuck? What even happened to my team? Where did they go? There's like massive support ADC gap here. My team is almost all full build. Surely they'll be useful soon. Surely. Yeah, my shield. Oh, nice. They caught out Smolder. Oh my god, fuck you, Caitlyn. Uh, Caitlyn Milio duo. Caitlyn, no E. Front to back. I hate this fiddle champion so much. It's so disgusting. <sighs> I should just EQ the way. Because he's on you. Oh, hopefully they can stall. I definitely could have won this game, but I just didn't play it good enough. And also, my team is so heavy. Top 5 heaviest teams of all time, man. They're so useless. Fuck. Wish I could have played it a tiny bit better. But the uh, enemy team has some pretty gross champions when fed. Fiddle and Caitlyn with Milio extra range. It's hard to play. We lost every single objective, our jungler couldn't even press R. But I mean, honestly, that's the average Kindred player in solo queue. They just can't even press R and use that properly. Our yeah, team, I think, just slammed each other in the entire game. I'm sure they were very unmotivated to win. But hey, can't win them all, unfortunately. You really have to play beyond perfect. I made some mistakes this game, and we could have carried it. Despite how bad our team was. Yeah, GG's.
If you enjoyed, body the like button, subscribe for daily content if you're new. And leave a comment down below to support the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for another game. Peace. Alrighty, guys. This game, we're laning versus Atalia. She's kind of considered an Azir counter pick, just because you can't like drift into her without her E being down. And she can like push you in early. But after Azir gets an item, I feel like he outscales and just starts winning trades pretty hard. You just have to dodge uh, Talia's W so you don't get like knocked back and stunned. And then just make sure you don't E into her like E, which is like the rocks on the ground. Because that'll stun you and do a ton of damage. Yeah, we're just going to be farming up for Dasher Tooth components. And then we'll start trading with Hail of Blades. Just clear these minions. Try not to miss any. Just all over whenever she stands in soldiers like that. Get mana flow. Do a little bit of damage. Let her know. This lane ain't free. She's going to get harassed. She's going to get punished. Oh shit, my mouse just died. No way. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. I just got a flashback to when I went against Faker and my mouse died and I like he killed me while there was like two waves under my turret. And I missed so much XP. Haha. <laughs> it reminds me of that one time, the last time my mouse died mid-game. Man, now it's a wire diff. Makes my mouse feel heavier. Yeah, we're just gonna be farming, last hitting. I'm gonna try to trim this wave so it doesn't hit my uh, tower range. Because farming under tower is difficult early game without AP and attack speed. Yeah, enemy team very squishy, so we have Hellblaze this game, and it's really good into Talia in laning phase. Other viable options this game are, of course, Fleet Footwork, Conquer, and Lethal Tempo. It just depends on your playstyle or how you want to approach every game. Yeah, overall, Hellblaze is very good here, and I want to like try to win lane. Try to get some kills. There's a Rel looking to gank mid. Well, she's hovering her top side, which means it could be Warden. Yeah, I mean, if you zone her out of lane, that's cool. Yeah, we dodge that. She might have to flash. Oh my gosh, Rel missed her Q. Oh my god, my Rel is missing everything. Wow, this Blast Gun took me there, but I mean, she took a tower shot and used flash, so that's good. Oh, Lee's here. Lee landed the Q? Oh, let's fucking go. Good job. I about to make fun of Rel for missing everything, but I mean, her presence alone got Lee that kill, which is great. <laughs> my Blast Gun did uh, good work there. I can't reset yet. I'm going to crash this next wave. We have to kill these uh, minions here. Or my wave just stacks up here outside of tower range and kills them without me getting XP. So that's why we have to stay here. Plus, she doesn't have TP, so it's like okay for me to stay. Ooh, good W by her. But Oh fuck, I meant to auto the minion. Alright, I'm gonna drop a ward here for Ghost Boro. Please roaming champ. So, wards here are always good to figure out where she's roaming. Alright, we're gonna back and spend their gold now. Alright, let's take a look at chat. Holy, welcome to the stream, what's up? It's my blasting one, white boots, helps uh, kite and dodge Talia skill shots. I use TP to catch this wave. I have enough attack speed to farm these. Alright, so you do me a favor, walk on that ghost portal for me. Are they on? No way they're on that, right? Surely she was just warding. Please, Q's not. I'm gonna poke her here with Q auto. Oh! Cool, we dodged it. That's a boot gap. Champions who rely on their skill shots, you can just counter pick with boots. Do I try and freeze this? I'm down. Small little freeze. Ooh, 
Yeah, we got one over there. And playing with a wired mouse is so annoying for me. We must wait until it charges. Okay, my least sin is smurfing it. He's going for dragon. Since we know that Evil Evelyn was topside and it looks like the wrong grubs. That's why uh Tilly's walking there. I can't contest that 1v2, 1v3, whatever it is, so I'm just going to shove in my wave. Free prior. Free recall right here. I'm gonna go back and get Amplifying Tome and Potion. I think for these Zergod men, I've pretty much learned the entire chat for YouTube videos. Hell yeah, Ranch Lover420. I'm very happy to hear that, bro. I'm happy they are helpful. Kind comments like that are very motivating. I will keep it up. Hi, Sturius. Welcome to the stream. In my age, probably reset. Let's get this pushed in and then like water bottom side. Our bot lane may be shoving in soon. Wave is bouncing. Ah, I'm just gonna put it here actually. Still have to shove this wave in. Some matchups are about freezing and some matchups are all about just like keeping them pushed in so they can't roam. Or just like trying to poke them out. Yeah, hey, we're up. What is this, 25 CS? It's really good. Whoa, Wukong with the solo bolo. That seemed easy. Alright, where's this guy at? I'm gonna word the lane again. I just got the cutest little pengu ward. Stream, but I'll be lurking. Thank you, Dova. What's up, man? Liking the vibe? Yo, thank you, thank you. I'm happy to hear that. Oh, she's no W, no E. So my Q's back up. I'm gonna look to shuffle her. She might be in kill range. Or she might flash my ult. Here we go. Okay, nice. Maybe her flash was still down from earlier. Oh, it's going on in river. I'm down the fight. You have numbers advantage. Sweet, that's a good roam. We picked up a kill from that. I'm gonna back here and hopefully it doesn't get like stopped. I like eat or something. I wanna get back to mid here. Buy boots, I can go back to mid quicker. Tier 2 boots time. Oh my. She wants the more room bots here. Uh oh. You're running straight to Talia, bro. Lul. Lul XD. Walked right to her. Made sure she didn't even have to work for that one. That was too kind of you, uh, Ash. Alright, I'll just freeze here. No reason to do anything else. She must have reset. Okay, rip the freeze. Minions are running into tower range. We'll slow push. Every time for me to have this calming voice talk to me while I go to sleep. Good luck on the games. Not that you need it. Thank you, thank you. We're making another sleep movie currently. We got chill educational vibes. Oh, she's killable here, guys. Her E is down. I missed the EQ damage, but we have enough damage. Regardless. Should I roam here? Maybe I do. Might be some free kills. I think fighting this would be fun. Rankin's under the turret. Hell yeah, we run for this. Rankin kind of entered. Yeah. 
Yeah, I knew you had ult. Oh, perfect. Nice, two kills. I'm gonna go push in uh, my wave. I am super fed, 1v9 time. We punish their uh, crazy tower dive under our tier 2 turret. He really wanted to kill whoever that was there that died. Big damage, half his HP with Halo Blades. Alright, I'm gonna try to go by here. Hope I don't get stopped. I'm also down this day, but I have TP, so no need. I just buy this and then TP back and uh, continue the pressure with items. That's better. Yeah, she's very low HP. I want to all in her. Yeah, you better run. Alright, I'm gonna unplug my mouse now. Surely it's charged up enough. I believe it charges pretty fast. I almost doubled this guy's CS. We're getting there. Alright, she probably took a reset, so I'm going to wail on her turret here. But we need to be aware that Eve can uh, come out of nowhere. I'm ready for it. Alright, we got two plates, thanks to Nashor 2 speed. I'm gonna try and get a ward on the raptors here. So now we can see Eve coming out of Invis. And we can track her a bit better. She has to go farm. This guy's Archangels now. I was reading all trap and I got hit by that. I get distracted easy. I want to all in so bad, but I don't know where Eve is. I don't have to force anything. We would rather fight it, dragon. Oh, dragon's gone because no vision. Awesome. Like they just see, basically never comes mid. She's just camping bot super hard. Oh my. I was pretty far. Hmm. It'd be nice if Rel could hit any uh, of her skill shots. I'm just kind of here to clear wave. Don't know if Jenna has ult or not. Yeah, I just wanted to be here to clear wave so they can't push. So these right there and recalling. So I'm gonna go back mid. We see E on her raptors. He's gonna go for um, top gank or herald next. It was an obvious top gank. How'd that hit? Fuck. I mean, I feel like that was super obvious when we saw Eve on the Raptors that she'll either gank top or start Herald. But he pushed up to turret and died to a gank. So that's just bad map awareness by the Wukong, I think. Good damage. Okay, cool. Rekton's dead. Just autoing who I can here. Cool, till he's dead. Got them very low. At least should go do Herald. I want to push this turret, but I need Rel by me or Eve engages on me after healing. Uh, scary. It's like I don't know if Janna's baiting or inting here. It's hard to tell. But I can EQ away if I need to. Oh, it was a bait. She had ult. Oh shit. Oh, 
She flash hard at me, no. Somebody kill E, please. Damn. Oh, he flashed, but he doesn't know where he is. What the fuck? What was that? Bro. That was interesting. Wow, I had 3,000 gold. Stayed on map too long. Fortunately, I got flash autoed on by the Caitlyn. Since I'm against Eve Talia, I'm gonna go Banshees. This allows me to just like all in them without really uh, getting punished. Because I'll have MR in a shield. We're gonna go split bot lane now. I wish I could walk up to blue and like split top, but Wukong's top at the moment. We'll just uh, get all the farm that's bot lane right now. And pressure. But if I can just like walk around here and uh, kill her. I don't think she'll keep pushing though. I have my tower up in 30 seconds. So I can use that to create pressure bot lane before this dragon. That's all needs to be top. What the fuck? Oh. Pick. Oh, Kong might be dead. But if he gets Eve, it's pretty worth. Caitlyn has no flash. I can clean this up. Never mind, I'm not going in. Please, there now. Very risky. Oh, he got two people really low. I know Caitlyn has no flash. Hey. Just be over the wall then. Good front to back so far. I melt the Renekton. I block it. Okay. Oh my god, what was that? I got charmed so I couldn't finish off Kate. That sucks. Lane? And I think the Fleet Footwork movement speed got Caitlyn out of my ult range, which is a feels bad moment. Oh well. It's okay. I think we're maybe gonna get Dragon unless Eve steals with R. Wow, she didn't steal with R. That's kind of sad because Lee Sun Q is so good at last hitting. Combined with Smite, but he didn't do it. Onyx and Jay, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna TP mid and push this wave, maybe get turret if nobody comes in time. While you fight bots, I get turret. And that was a pretty good fight for them. Hi Sky Dragon, how you doing today? Oh, I made her use ult. Oh, Shannonado goes that far? When barely charged, I didn't expect that, but we're okay. We have to run though. He's right there, so it's kind of scary. I'm gonna steal this from her though. Sweet. I take one midway, we saw Eve right there on wolves. Caitlyn's rotating top. I'm gonna go reset heal up. Buy components. Yo, I'm doing good, Sky Dragon. Thank you for asking, brother. Hello, D Mayo. How you doing? And hello, Amuse2. What's up? What you up to? Yikes. Ashall barely missed. I 
You got this, right? Of course not. <laughs> Alright, see if we can get mid in time to defend it. They don't have that many minions, so that's good. Perfect. Long cooldown, so that Kate's lasting forever. That sucks. My... The flash heal. I like, actually get a good amount of HP there. Okay, let's see. So you're nice, so you decided to pop on the stream. Yo, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. We hanging out, playing some solo queue. You try and like kill Eve and get Baron. Can we go split bot? I need to get to mid soon actually, there's going to be a big fight. Or maybe not because they killed Renekton. Oh hello there. Oh yeah my shield, why did they try to dodge that? That was so troll. Okay, nice. We got close enough. Alright, we see Eve on map. Let's take this tier 2 tower. Oh, huge. They're getting picks without me. I love that. This yeah, so seems pretty easy to engage on without the Janna and the Talia peel. I'm gonna keep pressuring this. This guy's out of dashes. Now he gets bodied. Easy. Two kills when you're a fed as your. Need my E in a couple seconds. Eve might show up. Oh yeah. She can't do anything to me though. I have vision thanks to my turret. So I would see her coming. She wants to come for her caps probably. Oh there she is. She's mid. Yeah, 3,000 gold and dragons up. Super strong is your. I do have 14 kills. Honestly, didn't expect to have that many. I haven't really been keeping track of my KDA this game. Wait, 10 seconds a minute and 14 kills. So, yeah, I'm insanely bad. Alright, let's go pick up. Let's get the rise in focus. This item is so, so good. I don't build it as often as I want. As I should, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and TP here. Get on that past. Maybe get a stream of shuffle here. Go in. Got the gate. Goodbye. AoE kills the Janna. Penta. Oh, easy Penta. Ha! <laughs> Sweet! And that's it, that's the game. 19 kills, 10 CS a minute, and a Nexus. GG if y'all enjoyed. Body that like button, subscribe for daily content. Leave a comment down below. Support the video. Watch out damage charge right after this. How did we do? But yeah, play like this. Easily 1v9 your games. It's all about farming, getting those item spikes, and then you just do insane damage with your auto attacks on the soldiers. Whoa, my camera froze. Oh, okay, good. Well, honor. Oh no, everyone did kind of good. Ego jungler. 
Gold 3 after placements. 4 and 1. LP gains are reduced. Playing in like Plat Emerald MMR. Yeah, here's the here it is. 39,000 damage in 25 minutes. GG, and I'll see y'all in the next game. Peace! Alrighty guys, this game, we're laning versus an RE in the mid lane. We're running Halo Blades once again. So we can try to like bully her. Their team overall is pretty squishy. Their tanky champs are like Poppy Trundle. They're not that, that tanky. So we can get away with Hellblades for a stronger laning phase. There's me farming up for Nostra components. And then we'll try to bully Arya to lane. Get some Hail Blaze procs going here. When is she going to throw her ability, man? Ouch. Oops, sorry, I've been tabbing out. Anyway. I have a Kale jungle. This guy's either a smurf or he's just like trolling, troll picking. Kale jungle is horrible. It's not going to do anything early game. Hopefully he does not run it down and get like invaded. This guy's missing. Maybe roaming. This guy's level 3 so he might be like roaming bot or he reset for like a book or some shit. I don't know. This is weird. Alright. Hopefully this crashes in time. I'm gonna go reset as well for a book. I think it's good enough, right? Maybe not. Yeah, that's bad. But I have no choice. I'll miss like one or two minions here. Or maybe none. Oh nice, maybe none. I'm an XP range. Huge! We don't get behind at all. All these are doing 69 damage, that's really broken. That is so broken. Yeah, it's interesting she like recalled there. To get Lost Chapter, or not Lost Chapter, Sapphire Fire Crystal. I use Q before my soldier dies here. Should not use as much mana when we poke. This guy's just trying to like shove me in constantly so that maybe he can roam. Oh, uh, what? So good. Predicted my dodge. Okay, we got his flash. Can we stop this recall? Oh fuck. That's not good. I could have stopped it. Yeah, it's RETP down now. I'm out of mana, so I'm gonna look through resets. Oh, this is bad. I don't think Ari reaches me though, right? She has no flash. Nice! Let's fucking go. And I have blue buff. I'm gonna try and kill Ari once I get a little bit more mana. Her E and Q are currently down. Perfect. So yeah, we're able to get a kill on Ari as well there because we got the blue buff from Trundle. Because we like kind of like baited them into like diving too far. See that's a mid gap. Oh no way. Oh, I couldn't get my E off, bro. That ranged auto from her. OP. Please nerf, right? Though. I died, so that means nerfing. Then your screen tags, it says B faker. Me too. 
I love that I can rate that. It's so cool. Oh my god. I two level lead and inhale blades with two components, just did half her HP. Ah. Almost got her, but we got her ult there, so that's good. She has to reset once again. Oh wow, Yone's got perfect CS and two kills. Smurf alert. What are these pings, man? What are we pinging about? Level 5 Trundle? Okay. Okay, already no ult, so that's good. So Harder for her to like all in me and kill me from this HP. So we're just going to like poke her max range whenever we can here. Just space her perfectly. Q's up. Nice. And this new patch feels like really laggy. Does anyone else feel like that? Yone's Smurf boosting misfortune? I see. Forward in the middle of the lane for me to clear, thanks, bro. Yeah, that's we could uh, deny my ghost poro, it feels kind of bad. I'm gonna move my control ward over here because this one's just, just there earlier to clear that one ward. Patches laggy because you're working towards dropping direct X9 support in order to optimize for newer systems. Oh, okay. This guy is MIA. Your source is the patch notes. Thank you for sharing that. I didn't know. I said I'll fight him and he just fought him and died. I'm back for an Asher too soon. Top here. Now oh, that tower is gone and then he leaves. Most likely. My god, does that word see me? I might get charmed if it is. Okay, we're fine. Oh man, top lane's a problem, bro. Aatrox cannot stop the bleeding. He doesn't know what to do in this Yone Ellen him. He's backing off. This guy's building MR. 
My team does have an insane amount of magic damage. I don't know why my team keeps trying to fight the Yone after what I typed, man. That's crazy. Let's see if we can already use her ult here. Alright, she was ult. That's good. Hi, Jono. Welcome to the stream. Get a plate here and dodge REQ. Can block bots here. They're so low. Oh my god, Aatrox, why did you TP down here, bro? Wait, I missed Misfortune with that. That's kind of sad. Oh my goodness, bro. I guess I'll go match the Yone now. Oh, that's so cringe, this guy. Why did we TP, man? You just gave him your tier 2 tower, you noob. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus, oh my. Okay. Okay, his ult is done. God, you're so far, dude. No fucking way. Because Aatrox is like actually tilting me so hard. Now I'm forced to fight his like Omega Fedione because he doesn't know how to sit under tower and not int his ass off. So sad. Guess he goes Onyas. Because the Yone is the problem and I guess Misfortune too, she's pretty strong. TP bot. No, I don't have TP. Hallucinating. Oh, game is going well, but this guy gave him tier 2 tower just for free with that horrible, horrible, horrible TP. Alright, I'm gonna try it until. Maybe we can still win. But two item Yone at 14 minutes is like just really cringe to play against. I legit told them not to fight him and then they just ignored it. So dumb. They're getting farmed. I need to get a shutdown somehow. That's illegal. Can we kill this guy? Please do anything useful this game. Of course not. Awesome pick there. Enchant select. I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate the kill pick, bro. Holy shit, your champ is useful. Hello, Richard. Welcome to the stream. And I'm still there. This is so fun. Top lane, you're three levels down. Bruh. I can't even, I'm not even safe under the turret here. He just straight up dies me. And I just get one shot. Alright, that's FF. 
and down to go next. He's just too fed, man. I got the bounty, okay can win. Maybe can win. Late game and we win. No, we can't fight him. This guy is a fanboy or what? He's just perma ulting me and I'm getting one shot by it. It's so fucking annoying. Thank you so much, Hatrox and Kale. See if we can kill him back here. Just kind of oblivious. Okay, that's her flash. Why is my Kaisa even here? Go mid man. What the fuck? Good job, Atrox. You tried to fight the Fed Yone. You still haven't learned your lesson. Crazy. I can buy Zonia's, I can Zonia Yone ult now. It's something. Farm the fuck. I'm tilted as shit. We're still gonna try to win. As long as the game is still going. Let me try to fight here. Never mind. Back to farming. This guy's buying MR? No. No. I need to go voice stuff then. Two under turret. Nice, that's another thousand gold. I can actually carry then. He gave me two bounties. Well, at least I'll try. Our base is getting fucked so hard this game. No help. Our team comp is that bad, I guess. And we have kill jungle. So useless, man. There's too much weight on my shoulders.
have bottom camps to farm, man. Fuck out of here. Richard, thank you so much for the prime sub. I really appreciate that. Why are you contesting my farm? You legit have like two bottom camps left you could have ran to. Oh, machine made. Thank you so much, Richard. I appreciate it, man. Oh, that's so fucking gross, man. FF. What a shield. Combined with Ice still, he just has so many items, man. Losing games like this is annoying. My Aatrox, like, legit just ran it down into Yone all game. I told him Yone's a smurf. The champ is OP, just don't fight him, bro. Just sit under tower, don't die. Nope. He has to be the reason we, like, solo lose. He solo loses game, man. Did worse than the Kale jungle, than the troll pick. An enemy has been slain. He doesn't take damage while he just fucking one shots me. It's so cringe. Just outed me to death. Landed like one Q. Like, that's so gross, man. Well, I knew I should have dodged this game, I guess, when I saw Kill Jungle, but. Off was the biggest issue. Guessing Aatrox is yapping in all chat. Let's see how he's coping. Let's see the delusion. Yes, she's legit like AFK in the brain. It's like, even if I outplay Yone, he's just like so fucking tanky in full build, so pretty unplayable. Is Kale used to hold yet? Nope, she got turned in dice. Very cool. Charm. Kind of 1v9ing it, but Yoni's in the game. Ah, <laughs> oh, he doesn't go for me. Oh, unfortunate top gap indeed. <laughs> we don't get to outsmurf since our top laner was eating glue the entire game. It's like we told him he would get the opts. And he made sure he got got even harder. And Kale jungle did 6k damage, man. So useless. Oh well, GG. Okay, I win them all. We still like did our best. But Yone is a pretty unfair champ point ahead. I would need full build and like level 18 to be able to kill him. And like maybe one useful teammate. We had like zero this game. But oh well. That's how we lose.
But yeah, GG's body like button, subscribe if you did the content. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Peace. This game I am laning versus a Lux, but since the enemy team has three champions that are going to be running at me and uh, the very tanky building HP, we got lethal tempo, cut down, and then uh, we're going to try to split since Lux is probably going to ARAM a lot. So we have demolish second win. Second win's good for uh, the Lux poke too. We'll get some HP back, so that'll be nice. Yeah, we're going to try to just dodge all of Lux's abilities and then scale into a hyper carry and 1v9 the game with the lethal tempo attack speed. I'm gonna try to match your push, because getting poked under tower would not feel good. If it is, so I probably am not getting ganked early, she's just going to full clear. I have a Voli Bear. I'm not sure who wins between those two early, but I feel like Voli does. And then Voli outscales. She's a tank trader. Oh, yikes. Every every bot lane just like fights to the death level one, it's so funny. Alright, I got level 2 advantage, I'll just like Q out of her. Oh hell yeah. Our ADC came out on top. Our jungler was nearby. Okay. Good news. Gonna be farming up for our items. We're just gonna be farming. Dodging skill shots, that's all we gotta do. And then try to like track the Lilia. Just slowly get prior. So I think our jungler's about to go for the crab soon. Oh, is a ward there? Do we lose Krugs? Do we get Krugs? Tripping. Since I don't have a uh, mana flow, I don't really need the poker. Like, I don't have the damage to like, fight her early. All I want to do is focus on loss hitting and trying to like loss hit better than her. That's all I can do until I can get some more like item components and levels. Our goal is to like either just out split push Lux or out team fight her. We're not looking to like stomp her in lane. If we wanted to do that, we would have went Halo Blades, but then the team fighting would be a lot harder. Yikes, the shutdown. Sure, diving Kench too. Dang. Hotlines of Bloodbath. I think our jungler just needs to like spam gank bot because Tristana and Nautilus are just gonna like look for engages perma maybe. Okay, 1200 gold, so we're going to look for a reset after we push this. There's like someone on that. I need to get my recall off. If Lux stops me, then I might just farm another wave, it's fine. I cannot push her. Oh, she wasn't even going to stop me. Yeah, I don't mind staying on map here. Oh, she ulted. Okay, nice. I basically just want to be here so she can't roam. In case their team, like, knows we're on grubs and decides to contest that. 
And now she's out of mana, so now I'm gonna go back. Renekton's a bit under leveled, but he might hit six off his next wave. Nice. See if I can sell her back. Yo, Garen is telling the enemy, like us, where uh, Billy is. I was going to word that anyway since I ran up to the turret looking for Lux. But like, yo, what the fuck? Who PayPal'd him? Pop is all I feel. We need to like play around a lot more. And by we, I mean our jungler. Here, I'm gonna get a try and bail out Ernekton. If I can like get it here in time, that'd be super great. I'll drop a word there. Does he have R? Nice, stun him in my soldiers and don't die. Nice, he didn't greet it. Minions, leave him alone. Oh, huge. Alright. I wanna push this. Since he's backing anyways, maybe he can go mid here if he wants. And I think I get this plate. Yeah, we farm in for Nasher here. RCS is really good this game, nice. We get a Demolish proc off. Versus Lux, it's a bit harder to get like Demolish procs. Please don't stop me, no! Fuck! <laughs> That's unfortunate. We didn't get that off in time. Well, our, ex our Bolivar got some XP. He's closer to 6 now. He seems a little bit behind. Lilia cannot farm him. The clear might be faster, I'm assuming. Or clear, I know, is insane. He's getting to one to me, there's a jungler in the bus. Yeah, what the hell? Well, let's just do all our abilities. We can use lethal tempo to get a big trade. Well, he plays around Paul too much. Nice. Alright, we got our ghost. Oh fuck. Oh my god, man. That's not good. That's a yikes. She lives 1 HP, she has Flask Ghost. Or should we kill Garen? Okay, worth. No R. Damn, they just get kited out here. <laughs> I wanna sell my Dorn's Ring for Nasher. I'm gonna see how worth this is. Oh fuck yeah, they killed her. Well, that's good, now we get grubs. It's like she's just useless without her ult. Oh, Garen? He's going for the 1v2, he thinks he can win, or get like a kill. What the frick? Wow, what a throw. What a throw. I th actually think that Garen's just like purposely trolling. He was like pretty mad at a jungler. There's no he's trying. That would like explain what I just saw there. Trying still at all, isn't she? 
Apparently not. Cool, I get two plates. But what happened to my volume barrier? My bot, all right. I'm not even gonna walk up to that bush. My lives in every grain of sand. The way she's just standing there menacingly, man, the fork. Let's see if she DC'd. Okay, good. That'd have been weird. This is quite the interactive lane we have here. Lux is ulting like most of the waves. She runs well here, it doesn't really matter if she has no uh, ult. Okay, well I'm gonna get her tower. Well, now they have bounties to farm. Alright, I'm gonna reset. Star is pretty tanky. Still has the bonus armor. Gotta make sure I don't overstand either. You know, Merc tries this game since Lux just got fed. And they have a Lilia. Look at. Let's go. Let's see Shadow Flame. Actually, I shouldn't be in here. Oops. My TP is up now. Okay, we play for Dragon. That's up now. Nice. Not sure how uh, Eclipse Renekton. in. Loss, but maybe it was like an ult ignite diff. There's a word there. What the fuck is this control word? That's a really bad place for it. Alright. Where's the stun? What? Where's the stun, brother? There it is. Sweet. That's a big bounty. You can get a little jungle after the nerf. Um, I'd say she's viable if the enemy comps like tanky. She's like a good, like, Tank Shredder, IMO. The enemy team has like a lot of bruisers and tanks, she's quite good. I need a tower here, I'll just tank it. This is greedy, but I got her flash. Alright, time to reset, our turret will farm the rest. Wait, I actually like almost clicked into it, but we were just out of range. This guy's getting solid by my turret. <laughs> wow. Also, Sekwin has only healed 116 HP this game. I don't think I was low that often, was I? It's a pretty underactive laning phase, but that's just how it is versus Lux. She has range that can match me, so it's a bit of a farm fest. Aaron is running off pure till right now. Oh yeah, for sure. This guy is a baby rager.
MIA mid. Our bot lane is a bit gap 2v2. In your throne. Lilia is mid. I'm gonna come bots. In case they try to dive. So I should have flashed after her there. What's my Tom Kenji doing? Nice stun. I need to go back mid ASAP. No way, man. I pinged so much, guys. Y'all are some apes in game, of course. But, like, what? An enemy has been slain. The fuck? I gave you all the warnings. I tracked the Lux with pings. And they still died to her. That's so gross. Fuck. Fuck you, Lux. I mean, to danger pings and shit. Actually hacking. Alright, run it back for our... Okay, everything's worded. That's so fun. Anyway, we're gonna back for our Shadow Flame and then TP to the tower. Profane Hydra Garen? We're gonna play for dragons, so I'm gonna put a control right here. The power of the sun lives in now they could be bushing bot for free here. I don't know why they're mid, but I'm down to the bot. Okay, we're not playing for dragons, we're all going top for Garen, that sucks. Oh my god, this Rift Herald so bad. I need to kill the turret before Rift Herald hits it. Dude, what the fuck? Seriously? Okay, good zoning ult I guess. I'm out of mana now, that sucks. They all live. Whatever, I'll just recall. You need not follow me, but you cannot stop me. Um I think you have banshees here. Basically just wanna like not get Lily ulted. Or like snared by Lux. That's the only way we get caught out and die this game. Or like Nautilus hook. This is a stupid fight, I think. Dear Lord, guys, you just are running in one by one, dying. It's so cringe. Alright, I push. Maybe you could have pushed for mid turret there. Just gonna take our camps and try to kill Garen. Wow, he tried to be on. Oh, he's really squishy. Dude. He's going lethality, Garen. That's so wild. I think I wanted to go mid after this. So we'll recall and go back. Get a blue trinket here so we can put it in their jungle. 
My turret will be up so I can split push. My Renekton is turbo caught. Nice job. No, don't try to save him. Okay, I'm gonna try Varen. The Holy Bear's pretty far. Maybe they're not going to. Oh, they are, of course. Okay, bro, get off that. We need to be there. If we can make it, we're just gonna ace them. They're doing it kind of slow, I think. He's almost up. I need to try to engage, maybe. Deal with us walking go. Oh, I'm rooted. Let's kill Garen and then go in if we can. It's a long ass route. Nice. We fucking bodied. Predicted some flashes there. Oh my god, man. Vision gap. Okay, she just ulted. I'm gonna go heal up. Can I get the top tower here? Unless they send like legit everyone. Everyone's recalling, but I think I got it. And I can just spawn my turret and not play since there's two mid, three mid. Nice, I got my E off. He's under level, then he's lethality. Interesting. Okay, now I leave. I'm low HP, it feels spooky. Nice, uh, Ocean Dragon is healing me up a little bit. Gonna keep pressuring because now they're gonna rotate mid to defend mid so I can farm a wave. If they keep pushing, that'd be weird because we have Baron. Dive in it. Why are we diving it? Just use the Baron and hit tower. That would be much better. Diving it is just like psycho and it leads to this. Dear lord. Alright, we're gonna have some fun here. Oh my god, that was perfect. We got around the Nautilus with that EQ. Bodied. Okay, we're making up for our bot lane getting cut out for fun. Keep pressuring, why are we leaving? Three are dead. Scared of Nautilus while well, the least top. Slide, why the fuck are we leaving? Okay, we got our flash. Didn't even get our banshees popped. You're not gonna keep thinking? Oh, you're a goat. Never mind. Bro, it looked like he was about to just like dip. I spawn tower. Not a recall. I'm gonna make sure our. Uh, get this dragon first. Okay, they're giving. I will recall now and buy Rabadon. Why oh, is my keyboard fucking up? Wow, my cutdown has been useless this game. Alright, now it works against Nautilus and uh, Lilia. I have a good bit of HP from being level 16, getting solo XP this game. Getting fed. Oh, you have W? Oh, 
Oh shit, that was close. Where the fuck's my team? Farming? <laughs> There's two people back here, that's weird. Are you trying to proxy? So. Boom. Alright, I have the wave. I guess I'll kill Garen for fun. He likes dying, apparently. He really enjoys grey screen. You can tell. By his uh, mental and uh, item choices. I'll make sure to uh, report him when I get a chance here. Plus, people like this in ranked is good. Hi, Banshees. Alrighty. LP acquired. We did it. GG's. Pretty decent game. one 33k damage check out the runes second win is 653 demolish 2100 damage we got some good value out of it we didn't get any value out of cut down because i guess we were like pretty over leveled and garen wasn't going bruiser items for whatever the usual garen build is he usually has some hp oh yeah that didn't happen yeah, GG's guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to body the like button, subscribe for daily content, and thank you for watching. Peace! Alrighty guys, this game, we are playing our secondary role. So we have some super long queues in the top lane. We're against the Garen, so these are the runes we're running. Ethel Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend of Lacrity, Coup de Gras, Transcendence, Mana Flow. They're going to be interacting with the melee champs the most this game, and I'd say they're bigger threats than their ranged champions. Cause they have like CC and uh, a lot of damage. Yeah, we're just guarding this bush level one, so Garen can't like cheese us and like chase us away from the minion wave. Always good to guard the bush. I'm gonna try to avoid fighting as is your early and like trading autos. Enemy top laners are way stronger early, so you want to like space them really well with your range. We have a Pantheon jungle, and he's going to start Raptors. He might clear up, maybe gank top, or he'll look mid. I don't think he'll full clear. I'm just going to hide in this bush and let it push me a little bit, and then I'll start uh, poking Garen if I can. I'm not sitting. Since he's melee, I want to like freeze outside my tower. Start autoing him to take uh, mana flow whenever it's up and stock up lethal tempo. So, yeah, I'm looking to just like auto attack him whenever he wants to farm. We're gonna kite out his Q here. But yeah, this is how you space Garen, it's pretty easy. If you don't have any dashes as a champion, it's really hard to uh, get onto his ear. Once you get level 3 here, but yeah, since we are, have our wave managed, we can set up a gank. I need a level 3, man. There we go, we have it. Oh, I actually could've got him. Oh, he pa- ooh. I actually could have killed him there, but I thought I had enough damage right there. Okay, well he has no teleport, so he's likely recalling. If he stays, then I think I kill him. I think I'm just going to uh, match his back, because he's going to come back with an item maybe, a component. So I'm going to heal up and get back to lane and continue the freeze.
Also, we have a Sivir mid. We have another troll pick on our team on this plane. It's unfortunate. He's already like 1 HP. It's quite scary. Our Pantheon, I'm going to try to mind control him to gank mid. And... I need to trim this wave because it's about to hit my tower range. Oh, shit. Renan Wolf with a raid. Thank you so much, bro. The Fiora God. Appreciate that, brother. Hope your games and stream are going well. We're playing some top lane as you're into a Garen. And uh, we're kind of bullying him. I'm a dirty range top laner. Probably could farm this way better. But what matters is that we're up 15 and a level. <clears throat> Wait, do we have any mods that can give a shout out for uh, Brennan? It's going to slow push this. Continue to grow my CS and XP lead. So that we can start check the Garen and start shredding him. Once we have some more like components. I am like okay with him pushing the way with his E here. He has no E, so I'm not all in. And my lethal tempo is like really stacked up, so I can get a lot of extra autos on him here. There we go. Lethal tempo is super OP with the all-ins. Extended trades like that. Six, so he's gonna start running away. I'm gonna stand in front of the cannon so he misses it. If he like goes psycho and greets for it, like we can just kill. Like if he greets for any minion here. Kind of want to stop him from kneeling up, so I need to go like auto him. Make sure he doesn't kill too much from his passive there. I'll be freeze on him. Uh oh, junglers. I'm gonna fight this guy. I try their pantheon. Okay, I'm just gonna flash and kill this guy. He's so fast. Cause I might die here to these people. What skills do Ari have? Does Ari have? Oh! Okay. That's good she didn't have charm yet. He almost got her. Oh shit. He kinda scared me with that Q. Usually when people charge up their Q that far away, they're like looking to flash on you. So I was like, what? My wave's going to slow push. I'm gonna greet it. Maybe they'll do this at home. But I feel like I'm gonna get away with this because we just killed Garen. He might not be able to get back in time. Zero push is pretty good. Does this hit tower? Garen is mid. Oh my god, so it's gonna hit tower. Wait. Okay, good enough, actually. Oh wait, that's not in tower range. Oh, that's fine. Well, that let us afford some extra components. I think they're doing a lane swap, but I mean... Yeah, I'm really confused here. They have done a lane swap. Hello Kool-Aid, it is going well, thank you for asking. It's been pretty fun today. Just being the charm me. Oh, I couldn't dodge that? Well, hello there. This guy's pretty aggressive. He is 2-0. 
She built armor though, so that's a waste of gold against me. I just need to survive until my TP's up. Just might try to dive here. Need to make sure I dodge her next E. Also, Marie, thank you so much for that get this up. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see the Pantheon W. Um, couldn't hit her in time. Oh, nice. He landed a Q. I'm so proud of him. Let's go, Pantheon. Oh, shit. He's showing off now. Still my CS like that. What a pro. Alrighty. Let's go by. Really right, boots here. Some extra movement speed to dodge your skill shots. And I'm gonna TP for tempo. I would like to go word grubs here. Probably gonna do it over the wall since I'm on vision now. Perfect spacing there. She has no E, so I'm gonna just uh, dash on her face here. Get some autos going. Now she's like 1 HP and has the back, so I might be able to pressure the turret or kill her if she stays. Dragon's up, so I wonder if that's where the jungler is. Or if the jungler is top for some reason. Which would be like really weird. Oh, that was a really wide E by her. What a beast. Holy shit. <laughs> I took so much damage from the tower, it feels bad. I think Grubs are first Dragus prior. Yeah, I like Grubs first. Plus, it's like a dragon that's really good for my champion. Like if it's um, I think oceans are good to get first sometimes. Infernals are good. If your comp has like tanks, mountains good. If you have a Zier that benefits from attack speed and um, CDR, he really likes uh, next tech dragon. I feel like it's better to like play for gold these days. But obviously you don't want him to get the soul if possible. So I'm did to make a play on her in flash, but I don't know if we have the damage to kill her. She has Thunder Sky. And Aryan, like, Garen was pretty close by, so let's just go back to farming. The Saber's kind of scaling against the Garen. Right? Oh, she's losing. Let's go visit for dragon. Isn't it just like 25? Maybe Rum here. Maybe not. He's about to back up. Yeah, I'll just stay in lane. Jeez. 
Jesus, man. This guy's coked out of his mind. Should have been Merc Treads. Okay, nice. My Sifter scaling now since he swapped lanes. Although she kind of gets caught a lot. I'm gonna try and TP mid and help. I can kill Vi maybe. Where the fuck did this Garen come from? Holy shit, I have AIDS this game, I think. Okay. Can win. I have Nostra Tooth now, I can 1v9. I actually have damage. I don't think... Fifteen minute Nostra Tooth feels bad. My wave is kind of fucked. Maybe I should have been bought. I'll just come up here to fix it. I'm about to hit level 11, that's pretty huge. Alright, I'm gonna come roam here and match this, but I think my Sivir is just dead. She ran into the true damage. My team's diving pretty deep. Aria's no ult now, which is good. Okay, we hit Garen and Aria with that. We can team fight better. No. Ah. Oh. Not bad. Brand is OP. Let's go. This is probably dead. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna go Shadow Flame. Not sure what defensive item I want yet. Belly it. Can get it third here. It's probably fine. I think this game we just team fight. I'm gonna show up for dragons instead of like just side landing. Oh, I'm doing so much DPS, it's insane. You have Flash, Peter.
in the above team chances local cooldown? Yes, it is. Okay, we're timing the Callista flash. She's vulnerable to my ult now. No shot. And I'm getting CC'd to death. Okay, I dodged this Q, holy. Shit, thank god. I flashed perfectly to dodge that Maokai Q, it actually would have killed me. Kinda annoyed as here to KS the kill though. Oh fuck, Ari's here. What do you No Pantheon R? Okay, it's fine. Okay. No, okay, I just flash. Oh, he got in the Herald, what an escape. Brand is OP. Nice. Oh, right, well, I'm gonna go split now. Okay, there might be a Vi popping of this wall soon. What the hell, man? Is Vi just like treating her ult so hard? Oh wow. These fights are rough. Oh, we're gonna get mid tower, that's good. We're getting more objectives in them. A lot more turrets. Run! Okay, I've shot a plane now. Maybe we can get some last hits. We have 10 assists. Pretty much just playing for a team this game since they got early leads. Yo. Oh, I they might get another free dragon. Okay, we chunk Dari, we might just win this fight. La Maokai? Oh Vaiq, let's just shred this real quick so she can't steal. Oh okay. Huge. The front two back. 
Ari's chunked, Malkai's dead. You can drop through it here for Cryo. I mean, I'm so down to do this Baron right now. Vi is balling, they're, they're giving us Baron. You do this so fast. Actually, I might want to stay here. Stay fine. I'm just going to hover. Alright, let's go buy something. Let's go. Honestly, my positioning's been pretty good. I'm just gonna keep going damage. I don't care. No way, Brand. Silver is putting in work, nice. Nice, we got the Ari. Now we just win. Ran got caught and he's like, hold me. Alright, GG. Got the dub. Despite kind of inting the early game. Ari was pretty good. She lucky I'm suited, bro. <laughs> Instead of just like premise side laning all game, we just thought team thought since our team had a good early game. And like we have a shit ton of DPS front to back if we can get it. Our team has so much damage. Yeah, that lane swap made it so my super got to scale for free and be useful. So that was nice. Also, my client crashed. So I don't think we'll be able to uh, show the damage chart. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. Thanks for watching. Body that like button, subscribe to the content. Peace.